What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're bringing you a different vibe. We are outside in nature and with my brother Yasir. We're going to be doing a full body mobility routine that you can do every single day. It's going to be pretty short, so 10 to 15 minutes, no excuses. We're going to be opening up our entire body, but mainly our hips, shoulders, and spine. It's for absolutely all levels. He's going to be demonstrating the easier variations. So if you're a beginner, absolutely be able to do this routine. And if you're an intermediate to advanced, simply follow me. I'm going to be doing the more challenging variations. Without further ado, let's get it. For the family, we're gonna begin sitting down in our butt. We're gonna begin with a 90-90 stretch. So place both heels in front of you. We're gonna be getting outside the mat. That doesn't matter. What we are looking for is as we go to the left, we create this 90-90 shape. You can use your hands for assistance if you're a beginner or you can do it entirely without hands. Then we rotate to the other side and then we keep going. So follow us. We're gonna be doing this for about a minute or so. Be mindful of your hips and the rotation. Try to keep a upright posture. And feel free to start with the hands and take them out later on. There is no shame in that. And if you're feeling already open to go a little bit deeper, you can flex to the side that you are rotating. Let's go for about 20 more seconds. As always, be gentle. If you're doing this in the morning, first time waking up, you wanna take it easy. You don't wanna be going through your end ranges too fast, too soon. Let's go one more on each side, whichever you are. And release. Now let's get into a squat position. If you don't have a squat, as always, you can raise your heels and be in your tippy toes. We're gonna be moving from squat to a single leg squat, so a pistol squat. And from here, we're gonna be pointing, then flexing, then pointing again, and then we go back. As the series demonstrating, you can be in your toes or you can use your hands for assistance. So let's begin the squat, then bring the right leg forward, engage those hip flexors, flex, point, bring it back. Left, point, flex, point, bring it back. Extend, flex, point, bring it back. Extend, flex, point, and bring it back. Two more on each side. Extend, flex, point, bring it back. Focus on your breathing as you're doing all this. If you only focus on your breath and that's the only thing you do in this practice, that's a win. So make that a priority. Last one, point flex and then bring it back. Stay in your squat. We're going to be now, I'm going to be shifting from squat to a kneeling position and then a hip thrust to work on hip extension. Now, this portion is pretty, pretty hard. So you can either use your hands for assistance or how your series is going to demonstrate it. It's only doing the hip extension, maybe a little bit of the lift, but you can only work on this movement if that's where you are. Now beginning three, two, one, hands or no hands full movement or no movement. Try to move as controlled as possible. Feeling every muscle, rotation of the hips, and the extension of the hips, really engaging those glutes. If you want an extra challenge, you can always raise the arms overhead. Go for five more, let's go. As your body begins to open up, feel free to go deeper into the squat, deeper into the hip extension, maybe at the spine at the top, creating some extension. And I can hear Yasir breathing, that's what I'm looking for. Really deep inhalations and exhalations. Last one, let's go up and let's extend. Low. Let's stay here in camel pose. Simply send the chest forward, do a little, little stretch on the spine, feels really nice. You can be on plantar dorsiflex for hard, easier variation, or you can go deeper this variation. Hold it here for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come out of the position. Now let's go into a side lunge. We're gonna be going, which is called Skandasana in yoga or Cossack squats, type rider Cossack squat would be, because we're gonna be staying really, really low. I'm gonna be going without hands. Yasir is gonna be assisting with the hands and you're also allowed to lift the heel if that's if your ankle mobility doesn't allow you to go deeper. We're gonna be moving about 45 seconds to a minute in whichever progression you are. Three, two, one, let's go. Gonna be doing it with our hands. Stay really, really low as you go to the bent side. Rotate the extended legs so the toes are facing up. And keep going. Move with your breath, mindful movements really connecting to your mind, body, and soul to get all that energy and vitality to start your day. Feel free to explore other movements. You can go to the side, you can reach, you can bend. And every time that you do this routine, you might explore not only new ranges of motion in the position that we're training, but you might explore a different variation. You might get up to here and you might do some rotations with your spine. Explore, there is no right or wrong here. Yes, we're working on mobility, but it's mostly about free expression. Let's go for two more on each side. So one, and then two. Let's go to the top of the mat, if you're doing this on the mat. And let's find ourselves in a plank position. So the first isometric power position. I want you to protract the shoulders and bring it down towards the hips and hold here. Keep a strong core engagement. Hold it for five, four, building some heat and energy. Three, two, one. Now, the next drill, I'm gonna demonstrate it first. Just here is gonna demonstrate it with me. I'm gonna be going into a full push up. You can do it on your knees. Then, as we push up, we transfer the weight to the left hand and we open into what is called well thing to really open up our interior chain. And then we do the other side. You can take away the push up or go into your knees. We begin in three, two, one, let's go. Push up, go to the left. Go down, exhale as you lower, and as you push, then inhale as you extend. Let's go, three more on each side. Push up, and go. Push up. And you don't need to go at our own pace. You can go at, at your own pace, which is actually what I want. And again, you can remove the push-up. You can add double push-up if you're feeling motivated today. Open up, last one to the other side, push up. Open up. Now stay on plank. You can rest your shoulders if you're feeling a little bit tired, give a little shake. If you're not, keep going with us. Let's go into downward facing dog. The next reel, bring the right knee, start with us right away. So follow me, right knee crosses to the opposite elbow. Then we extend that leg, we rotate, then we sit and we end up in this pancake position. I'm gonna be folding forward, but you can simply stay right there. Then we reverse the motion. So we rotate backwards, plant both hands and bring the leg back to downward facing dog. Let's go towards the left, left knee to the right tricep. Extend the leg, sit back, fall if needed, and then go back to downward facing dog. Let's do three on each side. Right. Left. Knee to elbow, place it, rotate. Right again. Moving with your breath, with intention, with purpose. Left. Right. Left. And one more, I wanna speed it up. You can do it at your own pace, but let's create some heat. We're almost at the end of the practice. 
Going faster doesn't mean that you lose your breath. You're always mindful of it. And it's the one that is guiding you. You're not guiding them. it. Go back to downward facing dog. Hold the downward facing dog. Find some stillness. If you need to rest your shoulders, please do. But if not, an extra last push on this position. You can pedal out your feet, open up the hamstrings, send one hip to the other side. Do any final movements that your body's craving. You might do some spinal waves right here. Take this next 30 seconds to explore. Shake your wrist, shake your spine. Any area that might have missed any movements, maybe some twists. I'll stop talking and I'll let you do whatever your body's asking you to do. Now let's find ourselves in a kneeling position. You can also sit cross-legged if this is uncomfortable to you. As always, I like to finish with a twist if you didn't do it before. So we're gonna be twisting towards the left. Take a deep inhale from the diaphragm all the way up to your chest, right hand to the outside of your left knee, and then simply twist towards the left. Take a deep inhale here. Lift the chest up and exhale, twist a little bit deeper without bringing the hips with you. Hips are facing forward, we rotate from the T-spine. Inhale back to center. Now let's repeat to the other side, take a deep inhale. Place the left hand to the outside, exhale, twist. Really keeping a, a proud posture. One more time, inhale, exhale, rotate. Go back to center, allow your eyes to close and find yourself in stillness. Do any final movements that you need to do, but ideally just sit still. Resist the urge to move and to do anything else but being here still in silent with yourself. Allow the effects of the practice to take over you without analyzing how you did, without judging your performance, just simply observing, watching what comes, allowing to go where it's meant to go, And simply realizing that wherever you are, you are exactly where you need to be. Release any additional tension that you might still have, unnecessary tension. And allow your body, mind and soul to feel relaxed. And gather this energy which is always available to you throughout your entire day, week, or month. Slowly open your eyes. And there you have it, guys, a full body mobility routine that you can do absolutely every single day. As long as you're not going super, super intense every single day, you should be fine. You can follow Jasir for the easier variation as always, or you can take a challenge with me the next time that you do it. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what else we'd like to see on this channel. And we'll see you all next week. Much love. Vámonos, familia! Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. We love you. Subscribe.